My name is Judy Blondell. Welcome to our presentation of the QuickBooks Doc Center, where you can attach document images to your QuickBooks transactions. Today, we will learn how to scan and attach documents to your QuickBooks transactions and why this is useful to you. We will be demonstrating two different ways to attach scanned documents to your QuickBooks transactions using two different scanning devices. We will be using a neat desk and a ScanSnap i500. Attaching documents to transactions is a good way to keep the clutter down and to keep yourself organized. A document can be a receipt, a bill, a check, or anything you would like to save. Attachments are also an excellent way to easily find purchase orders from vendors, estimates from customers, or an invoice that is being disputed by a customer right from within QuickBooks. Before you try to attach anything to a transaction, be sure that your scanner is turned on and has been tested. We will use NeatDesk for a direct scan and ScanSnap for an indirect scan. Locate the document to receive the attachment in your register. We are going to choose the transaction for Thomas Kitchen and Bath. Double click on the transaction to open it. Locate the menu at the top of the window Click on the Attach File icon to open. There are three options to use to attach a document. The first option, Computer, is to attach a document that has been saved to a folder on your computer. This option is useful if your scanner is not QuickBooks compatible or if you choose to scan using other methods such as a multifunction copy machine. At this point, we will create an external document image to attach to our QuickBooks transaction. With the ScanSnap scanner, all we need to do is place the document in the sheet feeder and press Scan. We will name the file which is saved in our scan folder by default. Now we will locate the file containing the document image. When you have found the document, highlight the file to use it and click on the Open button. The document is now attached to the QuickBooks transaction. Using the direct method to attach your documents, with the scanner on, insert documents into the scanner feed. In the attachment window, select scanner.
and the QuickBooks Scan Manager window will open. Using the Select field, locate your scanner from the drop-down list. In the Select a Scan Profile menu, choose a PDF format, then click Scan. A Twain window will open where you have even more scan options. With Documents in Scanner, click on the Scan Now button. A new window will open where you will see several new options to navigate and adjust your scanned pages. If you have more pages to scan, select the Scan More Pages button. If you have no more pages to scan, click on the Done Scanning button. Name your document file. This is the name by which QuickBooks will record the attachment. Give your scan a title. This can be specific to the docs in the scan. For this example, we will use Thomas Kitchen and Bath invoice 56432, check number 1002 and the date of 2017-12-15. The description field can be used for specific details. The field for keywords are searchable if you need to locate the document after the fact using Doc Manager. When you are happy with the entry, click on OK to attach the document. By clicking on the attachment, the options at the bottom of the window become available. In the first option, you may delete the attachment. The View Details option allows you to make changes to all fields except the document name. The Open option allows you to view the documents that were scanned into the attachment. When finished with the attachment, click on Done and Save. and close. Thank you for watching. We have shown you how to scan documents into QuickBooks and now you will be able to organize and find your documents easily using QuickBooks Doc Center.